Bush with your CIG TV News Brief on this Wednesday. Over the next two weeks, world leaders are gathering in the United Kingdom to discuss the future of our planet at the 26th Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, or COP26. Premier the Honorable Wayne Panton is leading a delegation at the convention. We spoke with him earlier today about it and why it is important for the Cayman Islands to be represented. So Premier Panton, uh, you're in the UK at uh, COP26. Uh, tell us how things have gone so far for you. It has gone really well. It has gone really well. It has been such an immense pleasure to be here to, to help support the young people from Cayman who were there to, to have their voices heard. Um, and it was amazing to, you know, to be able to listen to representatives from across the Caribbean um, and you know, personalities around the world that have spoken about these issues for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it really, really has been excellent. And I think, um, I think there's a lot of progress. Now, the question is, do words become actions? Right. And it is actions that matter um, because we don't have any more time to lose. Um, I think um, Mia Motley from Bar Barbados did an excellent job of articulating what the risks are for us in the Caribbean and what sort of impacts um, we're concerned about. And obviously, you know, we understand that that um, things have to be things have to be organized, but the truth is we don't have the time to waste. As she said, we got to try harder, and we got to try harder now. We're the ones that are going to feel it first, and we're the ones that are going to end up suffering the most. So therefore, we have an obligation to be here and make sure that our voices are heard. And I'm I am very pleased to be here supporting um, the young people that we have that are that care about these issues, that are standing up and speaking out for all young people in the Cayman Islands who don't have the opportunity to come here and speak out and have their voices heard. It is really, really important um, for Cayman to be represented and for me to be here to show um, government's commitment and support on issues like this. While in London, Premier Panton signed an agreement for a climate change risk assessment specific to the Cayman Islands as a critical first step in the process to review and update the 2011 draft national climate change policy and strategy. The project, which is fully funded through the governor's office, will be undertaken by the Center for Environment, Fisheries and Aquaculture Science, an executive agency of the United Kingdom's government's Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs. His Excellency the Governor, Mr. Martin Roper, said he is pleased to see the pro project's progress and expressed his full support. Well, join us on News Brief on Thursday when we hear about Premier Panton's time with Prince Charles and what they talked about. Well, Cayman Islands of fire officers went out to assist their colleague clean up around their home uh, on the weekend. Fifteen fire officers and Minister for Home Affairs, the Honorable uh, Bernie Bush, joined each other last weekend to help a former fire officer, Percival Worms Jr. Now, the crew was at the home of Mr. Worms for hours on Saturday, cutting down uprooted and broken trees and removing debris left behind by Tropical Storm Grace. The Cayman Islands folk singers shared the island's uh, cultural legacy and song at the Harkwell Theater last weekend. If you missed it, another concert will be held this Sunday, the 7th of November at 6 p.m. Run and produced by Cayman National Cultural Foundation, uh, the Cayman Islands National Folk Cultural Foundation, rather. The memories of yesteryear's concerts are the group's first full-length productions of 2021. Now, the 90-minute socially distanced show included old favorites like You Have to Wait Till My Ship Comes In. Other special features included musical interludes by Benil uh, Miller on piano and an original composition by Spark School of Performing Arts Vocal Performance Troupe. Remember, you can attend the concert for one final time at the Harkwell Theatre this Sunday, November 7th at 6 p.m. Turning now to today's forecast, the high temperature reached 83 degrees, the low 72. We can expect cloudy skies with a 40% chance of showers and some thunder throughout the day. Winds are from the east to northeast at 10 to 15 knots, becoming 5 to 10 knots at night. Sea conditions are slight to moderate with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. Now the synopsis calls for cloudiness and showers, which are expected to continue today as a surface, surface trough lingers over the Cayman Islands area. These conditions are expected to slightly decrease from Thursday morning as the trough drifts northwest of the Cayman Islands. 
Now, a reminder that you can find the latest on expected local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky. And that ends today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a safe and wonderful night, and inviting you back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.